Hi guys. What I've done this evening is sort this toolbox out. I've now taken, taken rather, everything out that I want. Whatever's in there now, I don't either don't need or don't want or ain't any good. Not to me, you know. I mean, there's still plenty of stuff in there that's good. I've thrown in a flashlight as well. I don't use it, and it's going to be quite handy to have one kicking around in the workshop. I've sorted through all my little um, electric screwdriver bits and whatnot. Sort of pretty, almost half what I had. Just throwing a load of assorted bits in there because I don't use them. Stepdad's always using them and losing them. Uses them, loses them, finds them again. <laughs> but, uh, my electrical tub in here. Lots of electrical tools or electrical related tools. This one's got my multimeters in and my voltage sticks. All I've got under there is the uh, low voltage LED scripts. That's quite scary. Yeah, this one is a meter man. The Meter Man VT201. This one is actually a name I haven't heard in a long while. It's a Nulec voltage detector, an LPDN. 50 to 60 volts. One triple. Oh no, two triple A batteries, sorry. Yeah, 50 to 600 volt AC. Off on on there. Got my um, little tool kits in there with the crocodile kit leads and another brand new pair of wire cutters, wire strippers. And in the bottom there's an LED torch along with a couple of solder suckers and some tubes and rolls of solder. And uh, whatever else I find to uh, throw in there. I can... Oh, was smelling um, a smell of burning before I turned the camera on, but it turns out it's just the neighbours cooking. It actually, I'm not kidding, it actually smelt like that electric cable that burnt out on me. That's what it smells like, a elect burnt electric cable. That's uh, scary. Um, I've got someone picking a bike up in the morning. At uh, 10.30, I've just given him my address through eBay. So, uh, I think it's the bottom bike on the pad uh, two as well. It would be. No one's interested interested in the red one. But I have decided that the black one suspension bike can go up for sale as well as soon as I've sorted that front wheel. It's the only thing I've got to sort. I've done the pedals, done the gears. They now work fine. Um rides absolutely fine. I just don't like how it feels. It just doesn't feel right for me. No, not I don't mean that there's something wrong with the bike, I mean it just doesn't feel right for me. So although it's a nice looking bike, that's gonna be sold. But uh as much as I'd like to put it up for sale soon, I can't because of that wheel. And I don't want to unless I can find a replacement. either find a replacement or straighten the one that's in there as much as possible. Uh, whichever comes first. I'm going to have a look at Mum's. A look when I go over at Mum. Eh, fucking hell. Pardon my French. Kids, don't go copying my language. Anyway. <laughs> when I next go over to Mum's, I'm going to have a look I know for a fact I've got a standard alloy wheel with a front disc on it, or with a disc brake on it. Brake disc! I will go to bed tonight. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> right.
Right. Yeah. I may um, bring some back wheels back as well. And the ladies' bike, that's got to come back in my next go over. So I can do that one. The only problem is the money I'm getting <laughs> has got to go towards the rent, so I could spend it. Well, most of it. I will keep some for myself, but um, whatever I can't, because I've already had to chip in at my rent money, so whatever I can't replace from selling bikes, I will just have to top up Thursday, that's all. Um, ugh, you horrible bird. You're going to poo on my window. Poo on his head. I wonder what I've got to scrub off the window. I've only just noticed that. What a pain. Anyway. Apart from that, I'm just um, making a brake adjustment on the black suspension bike and... Yeah, that's what I did. And I took the remains of the um, chain guard off the crank. I just had the four little studs that were left. The rest of it broken off. I have tried to find one to replace it, but I haven't found one that will fit, so... Um, it will likely have to um, stay without one. need to do. That'll go the same way. Once it's done, if I don't like it, it goes. Or if I like it better than the giant, then I'll sell the giant. And I want to, because I've actually spent a fair bit of cash on that one. But it does work fine. So I could easily get back what I've spent and still make a profit, but I don't really want to sell it. Uh, what's this? Oh. I could go in the bin. In the bin. In the bin. It's no good so it can go in the bin. Wind's picking up. Wind's picking up quite a lot. It's not good as I should be going on a bike ride tomorrow. Saturday the 5th of December. I can't believe that. Is it just me? Or does time seem to go by a lot faster when you get into your adult years? Any other young adults feel the same way? Because to me, years just seem to fly by now. It only seems like five minutes ago it was summer. <sighs> still, um, still got this to do. Which will be continued in the new year. Although there is quite a few um, nice Lego City sets coming out, so I'll probably, uh, I'll probably be buying those first. I don't know where my tongue is, but it isn't in my mouth tonight, is it? <laughs> well, I'll have to try and have another go at getting the Ingram toenail I've got out. If not, 
will have to go and get it done at the doctor's, which means local anaesthetic and a knife. And a knife I can handle. It's all they'll do if they do it the same way they did with my sister. They will just remove part of the nail. Um, I just don't like the local anaesthetic because uh, I don't have a very high pain threshold anyway, and uh, they sting like hell. I've had one removed. I've had a whole nail removed on my left in on my left toe, rather, when I was. Ooh, I had to have been about thirteen. I had one, and that really did sting. That actually brought water to my eyes. And I think my sister said the same thing when she had hers done. You know, that does sting a hell of a lot around the toe. So, but. Uh, I'd rather have the nail out than in, so if I've got to have that done, I've got to have that done. But usually I can get the nail clippers in there and get it out myself, but I think I may have um, ran out of luck this time. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, finally, no mum answers. <laughs> oh, right. Um... drinking Pepsi Max tonight because Littles didn't have any of their cheaper freeway coke. I um, obviously haven't had a delivery yet because it was empty. No diet. Plenty of um, full fat coke as uh, my brother used to call it. No full sugar. Plenty of that on the shelf but no diet and no um, XL as they call it which is basically their zero version. You know, no sugar, still full of taste, allegedly. So, um, I just grabbed a bottle of Pepsi Max. Which is basically the same thing. No sugar, still the flavour of Pepsi. I personally like Pepsi. Um, I used to like Coca-Cola more than Pepsi, but uh, in recent years I actually think I've changed. I prefer Pepsi now to Coca-Cola. Um, especially dark cola. Ooh, there's no flavour in it. You're just drinking black fizzy water. <laughs> but I can't taste anything anyway. Right, as Mum said. <laughs> I can, I'll read this out this made me chuckle alright uh, you know usual conversation, conversation and we start how are you you know blah blah and she's put yeah we okay took Cassie to vets oh what a saga lol never known a dog to pant so much and getting her in the car was like one of those cartoon cats or dogs where they put all their legs out she put hers out on the car door and seats. I couldn't stop laughing. We got her in in the end and she was fine at the vets. Yeah, I don't think Cassie has actually ever travelled in a car since Mum's had her. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it was just, if I remember rightly, just for a general check-up. Um, considering little Min was sick, but I don't know what. She got the all clear. No lepto. It wasn't leptospirosis. They were showing a lot of signs of leptospirosis, but it wasn't. The tests came back negative, so I'm not sure what the heck it was, but it nearly killed her. We actually did at one point think we were going to lose the Jack Russell. So I think just as like a no stay on the side of caution, so to speak. They've um, had Cassie checked up. Golden Labrador, she is.
Oh, hello. Oh, you boo. Yeah. I keep looking around the lounge and thinking I need to clean this mess up and, uh, I just keep losing motivation and like, uh, sod up, do it later. <laughs> What's this? Oh. He meant to run. I don't think so. Phew, that actually smells burnt out. Yep, I'm pretty certain that's... That's burnt out. Might be why it wasn't working. Now, Yahoo spam filter is shit, to put up frankly. I keep getting spam in my inbox and non-spam in the spam folder. Despite I keep clicking not spam. And this happens every time someone replies on Gumtree. Even though out of two bikes I've only had one reply. That reminds me, I do need a notebook just to note down the bikes I sell. But I only note them down once they're sold. Otherwise there's no point, otherwise there's a... Otherwise, otherwise, otherwise. Lots of otherwise. Lots of head movement as well. <laughs> Lack of sleep or high on caffeine, it's one or the other, or both. <laughs> Same spam mails all the time. Laurel Bean, PPI claims. What if you died tomorrow? I don't fucking care. I'll be dead. <laughs> Plan your funeral was another one I used to get. I want to plan my funeral. I'm only 32 and I don't want to think that far ahead. Jeez. If I die, I'd die. What do I care what people do with my body? It's no use to me, is it? <laughs> Bury me, cremate me, I don't care. You know? Do what you want to do. Let's do that one. I must upload the video to um, YouTube. Must get some Lego ones done. I have ran out. And that channel has been quiet and I don't want it to be quiet. I've got one spare set of spare set of batteries, so I suppose I could. Um yeah, I might do that. Get a couple out tonight. I only last about ten minutes, so I can actually do quite a few. Right. Well, I think I've chatted just about about everything, I think. My grammar really does suck. I'm not going to pick anyone else's grammar ever again, because mine is... I've just noticed mine is really, really bad. Really bad. Anyway. If you like the video, don't forget to thumbs up. <coughs> he says, clearing his throat. And of course, if you want to see more of these sort of random vlogs, I suppose, and other videos, I do all sorts. And I'm always open to suggestions as well, so if you stumble across my videos and want to suggest something, preferably not rude, <laughs> preferably, <laughs> then um, obviously feel free to leave a comment. And, uh,
those, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye!